Hi, I'm Curtis Winters with fingeringcharts.org. I'm going to show you today the trumpet fingering chart by Stepwise Publications. Now it looks like this, it's not your usual trumpet fingering chart, but to me it makes a lot more sense. Along the top, you'll see what the notes look like on the page, treble clef with all the different notes along these five lines called the staff. On the bottom, it shows you the fingerings on the trumpet, which, which vowels you're going to press down on the trumpet. Now you can see that there's seven different possible fingering combinations on the trumpet. Uh, open, or zero fingers, the second vowel, two, uh, the first vowel, which is your first finger here, and then one and two, which is the one and two first and second vowels pressed down together, two and three, one and three, and then all three vowels together there. So on the trumpet, if you press zero vowels, you can play all five of these notes. C, G, high C, high E, and high G. And they'll look like this on the staff, these five notes here. And then if you press the second valve, of course, you can play these notes and so on all the way down the instrument. Now what's unique about this is it shows um, that if you play in this order, 0, 2, 1, 12, 1, 2, uh, 23, they call it 2 and 3, uh, 13 and 1, 23. Uh, if you play in that order, you're playing chromatically from highest to lowest on each partial. So the lowest note on a trumpet at open, uh, this is called the first partial. Can you see that right there? First partial. And if you, if you um, make your lips tighter and buzz the note higher, then you go up to the second partial. And so let's look at the second partial notes. If you're playing uh, with these fingerings, you'll play G, F sharp, F, E, D sharp, D, C sharp. It's, this is called a chromatic scale from higher to lower on that partial. So let me show you what that's like on a trumpet here. I'm going to play open. That would be the first three partials. C, G, high C, okay. Now I'll press the second valve. Let's see how it goes from C to B, goes a little bit lower. That was up to the fourth partial that time. B, F sharp, B, D sharp. Okay, and so let's say you come across a note that you're not very familiar with. Uh, let's say you come across a C sharp there. So that note's a C sharp. That is right here. So it's on the fourth partial. And what's the fingering for it? Well, it shows it here, one and two. It also shows it at the bottom. So the C sharp is going to be played one and two, like so. But not there. That's too low. There's your C sharp. That was C sharp to C natural. Now see how they're right near each other. C, C sharp. They're close together, but they're different fingerings and they're on different partials on the trumpet. So that's how this fingering chart makes a lot more sense to me than others because you can actually see which partial uh, any given note is on. Now also here, there's an introduction to enharmonics, meaning that if you play a C sharp, it can also be called a D flat. And so uh, if you come across a D-flat, it's not going to show up here, but you can look here and see, oh, a C-sharp is the same as D-flat, uh, or D-flat is the same as C-sharp, therefore it's this note right there. Now, this trumpet fingering chart is available for free at fingeringcharts.org. Just go there and look for the trumpet, and you should be able to find this, uh, this as a free PDF download. So you can download it, copy it off, give it to all your friends. And here also, uh, also on that website, you'll find um, flashcards like this, where you can practice each note with someone's help or by yourself. You can practice um, naming the note. That's F sharp. Yeah. And it's fingered one, two, and three. Let me skip to something more. Let's see. That is, um, uh, let's see. This one right here is called, do you know what it is? That's called F, and it's fingered first valve. Yes, see that right, right there on the first valve thing, up on the second partial. So you can buy or download these uh, flashcards there at fingeringcharts.org. Now if you're a music teacher, then also at fingeringcharts.org you can find this right here. What the heck is this? This is 
uh, downloadable flashcards that you can print and copy for all of your students. So you can buy a whole set for the entire band. This is the clarinet one, for example. Uh, and uh, you can print them off. Uh, your students can cut them out. And then you can use them in class and have the students quiz each other and really conquer and master these notes. And lastly, while you're at FingerCharts.org, you can check out my new iPad app. If you have an iPad, this is called Ningenious Music. And it is basically a game of notes and fingerings for every instrument, every band and orchestra instrument. So you can check that out at ningenious.net or everything is available at fingeringcharts.org. Thanks for watching.